for for bringing the worlds together. <laughs> yes, when when we win the Nobel, Brian, we'll we'll be sure to do donate a portion of our prize money to High Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Not a lot, just a just enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Hello, everybody. We are NAFTA. Um, I'm going to introduce us, but um, to get started, if we could please get a word uh, of that's going to be our, our input for this scene. Um, as I mentioned, we are NAFTA. We do uh, improv about the agreements that people make with each other. So you're going to see um, some sort of quiet two-prov this evening. So just Chewie and I doing a scene about some people. Um, my name is Claire Bittescombe. I am currently located in the tropical paradise of St. John's. Newfoundland, Canada. Um, my wonderful partner here is Chewy Sarate. Uh, he is located in Austin, Texas, USA. Uh, so we've got the, the Canada and the US parts of, of NAFTA happening. But I'm Mexican also, so that kind of covers all three. Perfect. Yeah. So we have three for the price of one. <laughs> uh, wonderful. So uh, I don't did I miss anything? Are we good? I don't think so. I think you're good. Okay, perfect. Uh, how are we doing? Do did we get a word? Or Let's see we manicure a... in the Manic? chat. Yeah, manicure. Manic. Manicure. Ooh, manicure. Okay. I like it. Like yeah. it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. NAFTA presents manicure. manicure. And I was trying to tell him it's not weird that that a guy has his nails painted these days. It's it's a normal thing. And I, dad was really pissed off, Carrie. And like, I, it's just, I just thought it looked pretty, you know, that's all. It's not, doesn't say anything about me. It, it does look pretty. It looks great. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. I, you know, you know, I love it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm really, look, when you started out and you were doing them yourself, it was it was looking a little smudgy. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. No, I I'm you're getting so good at it. Like, can I can I see that again? Look. I love that contrast of the your ring finger there with the right? purple sparkle. Like that looks so good. And it's got this cat eye thing that like if you put it in the light correctly, it looks like a like a galaxy or something, like a star. I they they've come up with so many different uh, uh like types now. And I want to try them all. I just like the way they look, you know? But dad, he's, he's not talking to me right now. Look, I don't want to defend him because I know he's being an asshole. Yeah, he's being a big asshole. He's being a big asshole. But I think it's just hard for him, you know? Like he grew up in a, in a different time. Man, you know... I am so tired of this argument of the older generations where they're like, they lived in a different time. So that everything that they did was okay. It's like, there's no accountability to, at all from them. They don't, they don't look back at something and say, oh, I really screwed that up. It's, it's the inability to say I'm wrong. I don't get it. Like I break a lamp. I tell somebody about it. I don't just say, well, that was at a different time, you know? <laughs> so this argument just sucks. I hate that. I know. And uh, like, I get you. I'm, I'm with you on that. It's, I, don't... I mean, you're right. You're right yeah. about it. It is a different time, but. Yeah. And I think, I and I feel, I feel like shit for defending him. No, I, do. I don't think, I don't think you're, you're defending him per se. You're just trying to help me understand. Justify. But and I, I feel. That. Look. I think dad's just, you know how dad was. Dad, yeah. dad always wanted, dad wanted a hockey player. <laughs> well, you Which tried is, both of us out on that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, ballet is kind of like hockey. Right, the, right. The, the Hockey tra players do ballet training to, to train yeah. for the spins and the core and things like that. There's... But uh, I, just, I couldn't get into the violence of it all. I couldn't, I couldn't do the hitting and the, it hurt. It, yeah. it literally hurt to play. And it made me not like skating. And there's all kinds of different reasons. I, 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 Which I is such bullshit in a way because skating is so much fun. 
Like it's just so freeing when you don't have to worry about chasing a stupid piece of frozen that hurts. Mm -hmm. Like it hurts. It hurts. I just, you know, I've never been enough for him. And you've always been like perfect for him. It's exactly what he wanted out of a out of a daughter. But because he, he wanted some fragile princess and Yes, you got not, me. But don't call, don't talk about yourself that way. You're not fragile. I mean, I mean you're definitely not a princess because mm. that, that means he's a king and I don't accept that at all. Fair. But I mean, he just, he just never really tried with, to get to know you, you know? So he had this image of you, I think. And he kept that in a gilded case that, that I couldn't, there wasn't room for me in it. Well, I think it's like you said, right? It's in his day, boys spent their time together. They went fishing or some shit like that. In my day, in my we day. drank five beers at dinner time instead of just two. In my day, the women did the dishes and the cooking. <laughs> in my day, I could walk on the street wherever I wanted. Jaywalking wasn't illegal. Uh, my geez. day men didn't wear nail polish yeah they didn't i just know that i just know that he's getting older and he's not exactly well i mean he's lived hard and i don't want him is it, is it weird? Is it ridiculous that I want his acceptance before he dies? I don't think it's weird. But in order to get that acceptance, I have to, I have to not be myself. But that's his problem, not yours. <laughs> yeah, I get that. But it, it's only going to affect me when he's gone. Well, I just want him to say once, you know, I get you. I understand you. You're my son and I love you. I'm not even going to ask for a hug because that ain't going to happen. <laughs> In my, my day, men didn't hug. My day, we shook hands. Yeah. Real and men. Spit on them. We, crush, we tried to crush each other's knuckles into powder. Yes. Because yeah. we were, it was a test of strength, but it was also a greeting. Yes, it was a test of manliness. If you could stare a man down while crushing his hands. <laughs> oh, Carrie, I love you. I love you too. I'm so, I'm sorry I brought this up. Yeah, no, yeah. don't ever, don't ever be sorry. I, I need you to talk to him for me. You don't have to be on my side about it or any of that stuff or like, you know, not, I mean, I know you are kind of, but like, no, you don't, I'm just, maybe he'll listen to you if he won't listen to me about how I feel about this. I, I, you know, I've been trying, right? Uh, like he, he makes comments or whatever, and I'll try and like shut him down and explain and. Right, right. You're hinting at it with him. I mean, and but he doesn't get a hint. He doesn't catch that nuance or anything like that. I, I really need. I hate to do this to you. I hate to ask this of you. It's awful. It's embarrassing that I even have to ask this of, of you. I, I just need no. you to sit him down and tell him that I don't want him to go without accepting me. He's, he's not going to listen to me. You, you know that he's going to write it off as some girly sh shit or whatever. I, I'm, at, I'm at my rope's end. I don't know what else to do. You, you were my last thought. Like if mom were here, I could talk to her about it and have her talk to him, but she's not. Yeah. And ever since she died, he's shut down like double with me. 
because she was always the buffer and, and it's a shitty position for you to be in here but you've kind of become the buffer that mom was well that's what we do right like that's you step into you step into roles i guess and that's i that's i don't want to I don't want to have to apologize for him. I don't want to have to be mom. I don't want to have to to take on the job of being the buffer. But I don't want you to have to. So what I'm we... aware that this is this is shitty of me because you're asking me for no, something. It's it's really. I mean, I'm asking a lot though, and it's putting a lot on you. And I mean, hell, you never know what, the way he is. It might destroy y'all's relationship. And if that happened, I'd feel, I'd feel fucking awful. It's not like we have much of a relationship. Like you said, he doesn't, he doesn't really know who I am. Yes, he, well. He doesn't really know who either of us are, Jay. Yeah. He's, he sees what we are. He sees what he wants us to be. Right. But I don't, I don't think it's ever occurred to him. I mean, maybe it's occurred to him. It must have, but I don't think it's ever, maybe he doesn't want to see us as anything other than what he wants us to be. Was that fair in any way, shape or form to either of us? I don't, I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying yeah, that's the way it is. I know. It was the way he was like that with grandpa oh god yeah he was he really was he idolized that man that that man who was like obviously racist you know yeah terrible to his wife and yet all he could do was look up to him and because, because and in a, a weird man. weird fucking way the same thing I would. Oh, Jay. And that, that just, it's just a fucking chain that happens. It keeps going and going and going until like it happens. It keeps going and going and going until like, am I going to pass it on to my kids too? Am I going to treat them like shit because I don't know how to treat a child because I didn't have an example? You're not, you're not going to treat anybody like shit. Well, how do that's... you do it? You, you, you have such beautiful daughters. How do you, how do you, <laughs> How did you cut that cord? I think, look, I think I heard somewhere, maybe I read it online, something that when you have like, when you have like not a great relationship with your parents, you either kind of approach it one way, you, you replicate it because that's the only thing you know, or you decide that you're never make, gonna make it that your kids have it the same way. And you, so you try and do everything the opposite. Right. And like, I don't know, I think in some ways, like he does love us in his own weird, very backwards way. way yeah. hmm. Terrible way. But how do you find that balance? How do you find like, how do you not overcompensate the other way? you know, and just like totally don't too much on your kids. Cause that can happen too. I've seen it. Like, yeah, you've I, got this balance about you that I've never, I've never seen in a parent, honestly, like you can go both ways with them. You can get stern with them or you can give them the world. And it's, I had, I admire you so much for that. I just do. I don't know. I, I just make it up. I think I just go with what feels right. And sometimes mom feels right to me. Dad, I don't think ever feels right to me, but like, I don't know. I got it. I'm just trying to. I've got it. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to study you. Okay. I'm going to study the way you are with your kids. I'm going to come stay with you for like a year 
and I'm going to watch the development happen. And then that way I can break all the chains and the, and the, and the preconceived notions that I have from dad's parenting. And I can be carry parenting. Carrying you know, thing. There's, there's, there should be a rule about sociology professors being parents because <laughs> <laughs> I, well, <laughs> I just feel very awkward right now. Sorry. I, look, Jay, I'll talk to dad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I should. And I want to, you're right I, about the girls. I mean, in some, but you're also wrong about me because mm. if I want the girls to look up to me and what I do, and I want them to take after me, then I need to be the kind of person I I want to be and I want them to be and that's the type of person who sticks up for someone and has uncomfortable conversations even when it's with someone whose approval they're seeking because that's that's beautiful it really is that's really that's your chapter four <laughs> right there of your book I also want to make sure that if, I mean, you're a good judge of him, you know how it goes with him. If you feel it's going sideways, like just bail, don't worry about it. Cause the last thing I want to do is have it affect you and him, you know, your relationship. I mean, it's, it's cold out here on the outside. You know? But here's the thing, right? Like if we're speaking just logically, mm -hmm. You're going to be around a lot longer than he is. <laughs> hey, <laughs> knock on something, please. Knock on wood or something. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to go get in a car accident tonight. Jesus Christ. But, but that's uh, the thing, right? Like you're, you and I are going to, are going to have to, are going to have to be family long after he's gone. I mean, at least if he keeps smoking two packs a day. But the smell of that house too. Jesus. And you I walk in and it smells like they're curing ham or something. Very, very fetid ham that's mm. been sitting in the sun for about a week. And maybe there's maggots involved and the pig yeah. was not terribly healthy before it was taken to the okay. Like the kind of ham that you see like on cooking shows where they go into like Spain and there's this locker and it's got ham in it. But, <laughs> but you gotta know that actually smell. looks tasty. Like this is this is that done horribly, horribly wrong. Right, but I mean, I'm sure it's tasty, and I'm sure it looks. I mean, it is tasty. I've yeah. had Spanish ham, but it's 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 like so gross looking, uh, so gross smelling. I bet. I bet it stinks to high heaven in there. Yeah, and that's dad. Is he the ham in there hanging? <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think he is. I think the, the curing house is the world and dad is the ham who hasn't quite cured properly. Yeah, he needs to marinate a little longer. Yeah. Or whatever you call it when you do ham, I guess curing, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> look. Hamacure, he's gotta get a hamacure. <laughs> You're, ter you're terrible you're terrible you know that right i know, uh, I know. okay well can i borrow that cat side color yeah yeah sure here okay. uh i've got it around here somewhere where the hell is it there it is here you go yeah make sure that you oh it comes with this magnet thing too you got to use that so make sure that you uh, do two coats. Oh. Well, the magnet's how you, how you get the, the marbles or whatever is in it to pop up and make the effect. Oh. Uh, it's like magnetic and shit. It's crazy. Oh, that's wild. I've never seen that before. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it the first time for you if you want. Could you? Yeah, give it here. Get back, like, get back. Okay, there. Okay. Seriously? I'm so out of practice, like running around after the kids. Here, just give me your hand. Yeah. Okay. Hey, put it on like one coat there. 
and then you take the magnet and you just see look oh my god <laughs> okay that's so cool yeah that's all you do isn't that neat here take that thanks yeah uh carrie i can't tell you how much i appreciate you i mean i just did but <laughs> <laughs> kind of and you painted my nail i painted your nail and now you have you have a guidebook on how to do that so now you owe me parenting lessons Fair. All right. <laughs> I'm going to run. Yeah, I'll... Uh, I'm going to go James Dean this shit. Look, um, did you want to see the new Black Widow movie on the weekend? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I've got my okay. t-shirt and everything. Sweet. All right. All right. Love you. Love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.